hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel a pleasant good morning or good afternoon or good evening or good night to you wherever you are if you're new to my channel please subscribe like and hit that notification button and also just welcome and welcome to my our family that's this already here welcome a big welcome 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 to you i hope you do have a blessed day a blessed afternoon bless even blessed night wherever you are depending on your time god bless you today i'm just going to encourage like to encourage you about prayer right and we'll be using the scriptures today to just a few seconds just to encourage our hearts and prayer and oh we are to pray and faint not we are to always pray you know, sometimes it's not um, easy to say, oh, I'm praying, I'm always going to pray. But it's the right thing to do. When you're feeling up, pray. When you're feeling down, pray. When you feel like you cannot make it, pray. Prayer, faith, prayer and faith work together. Hope, trust, they work hand in hand. They work together. They work together. The Bible says all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord, right? And that's our in Christ Jesus. So everything is going to work for you, right? So we have uh, a scripture here today. The first one is 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. It says, pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping. Pray without, pray when you feel like praying long. Pray when you feel like praying short. Pray when you pray no more in tongues. Pray when you don't want in tears. Pray when you don't know what to pray about, what to say. That's why the Spirit make it intercession for us. The Spirit of God make it intercession for you. It make it for us, for us to just go before the Lord. And it searches, the Spirit of God, it searches the very intent of our heart. It knows when we are performing. It knows when we are pretending. It searches us through. And that's why it can say that we are to pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing to stop without doubting without fear just let us pray 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 continually you know because philippians 4 verse 6 it says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known before god let what you're requesting about what you're praying about what you're thinking about let it be known before god god is the one who knows everything he knows that you desire that promotion he knows that you desire that increase he knows that you desire that house that apartment that car he knows that you desire your papers he knows everything about you he knows that you desire your favor glory to god he knows everything about you but he want you to put it before him through prayer and supplication let them be known just tell them about it he knows about them already even before you even say them he knows that what's going to happen before he knows what's going to happen in the middle he knows what's going to happen in the hand but what you desire what you so want what you so need is for you to trust him trust him when they, it seems impossible trust him when it seems that trust is not wearing anymore nothing is going on with trust nothing is going on with god just keep on going in him keep on faith keep on having faith in him keep on having belief in him keep on having hope in him keep on having trust in him he will see you through glory to god he will see you through it doesn't matter the circumstances, he will see you through. You know what always got me, what always I'm always taken um, back is that he said, when your mother and your father forsake you, him, God will take you up. What greater uh, comfort, what greater word, what greater um, aspect, what greater belief do we need to know that? He says that after, listen, if anybody forsake you, if your mother can forsake you, if your father can forsake you, what about friends? Friends will go. Everything will change, but God is the one that changes not. He is the one that changes not. He said, neither is there any other God. He said, after I'm searching through, I'm searching, realize that there's no, there's none that can compare to him. None before him. None now and after him. There will never be another God. 
He take knowledge from no one. He rules in his own existence. He rules in the circumference of the earth. The Bible said and he stretched out over the earth like a curtain. That's how God stretches out over us. That's how they try to fathom him. They try to put it together. They try to fix it. They don't know. So they said, oh, the universe. But why worship the universe when you can worship that who creates the universe? Isn't that amazing? That we pray to, 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 to this God who creates the universe. And if he creates, he said, the hurt is his on the fullness thereof. And you are in this hurt. So the fullness of God will manifest in you. But he so desires just for you to come to him. David said, create in me a clean heart, O Lord. And renew the right spirit within me. Renew the right spirit within me, God. Renew the right spirit within us for us to pray. Through prayer and supplication. Through fasting. Through meditating. Through seeking him. Pray. Prayer works. Glory to God. You know. Pray in and out of season. And said all things work together for your good. So when the season is help, praise him. When the season is down, praise him. Let's go and share two more scriptures. Saints Mark 11 verse 24. And it reads thus. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them the bible said it whatsoever you so desire when you pray believe that you have it and you shall you shall receive it he said whatever you desire whatever you desire when you pray believe it and you shall have it mighty god isn't that isn't that awesome isn't that wonderful that god wants us to pray just pray and let him know let him know the request and let him know that he said that God, you're the one who said that whatsoever we desire, when we pray, we should believe it, that we receive it. So through prayer, we're going to believe that you're going to do it for us. Bob your heads, let me do a quick prayer for us this morning. Most of us are doing Father. Thank you, God, for your awesomeness. Thank you, God, that you're the God that, Lord God, you said whatever we desire, whatever we so need, whatever we're seeking you for, you are the God who gives it. You are the God who is able to, to do it from where you are able to think about it. Ah, oh, glory to God. You are able to perform it. Glory to God. So God will come to you, Lord God, knowing that you are the one who gives life. Knowing that you are the one who breathes upon us. We pray, God, that you breathe afresh upon us. Glory to God. Let everything be done, God, to your honor and to your glory. Satisfy us. Sustain us. Ah, oh, glory. Let your will be done. Let your will be so perfected. Grant us strength, Lord. You said, Lord God, whenever, Lord God, we are weak, Lord Jesus Christ, God, in our weakest moment, your God's strength is made perfect. So, God, we pray that your strength be made perfect in someone that's watching right now. Made perfect in someone that seems like they cannot go through. Made perfect in someone, Lord God, that seems like, oh, there's no way out god show them that you are the way maker show them that you are the deliverer show the black god that there's no other god above you and you sit high and you rule in our affairs rule in their affairs god rule in their marriages rule our god in their love life rule our god into the expectation oh god it is so desire rule in their womb god when it's so desire a child rule god in their car rule god in their finances oh god rule in their home rule in their children rule god Glory to God. And Lord God, let your face shine upon them. Oh God, may you grant them peace. Oh God, visit them, Lord God. In their going in, in their, oh God, in their going out, in their coming in. Oh God, visit them, Lord God. And be with them. Be their strength. Be their strong tower. Be, Lord God, their hope. And let, Lord God, everything be done according to your honor. Huh? Glory. And according, Lord God, to your will. We bless your holy name because there is no other God above you nor beside you. And we thank you for being God. And we thank you for your favor. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord God, for saving souls. And we thank you, Lord God, for healing us. Let, Lord God, your will be done and heard as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. And we say a big amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.